what's up guys and welcome to my youtube channel in this video we're talking about the tools shortcuts and functions that i use in adobe premiere pro on a day-to-day -day basis when i'm editing so without wasting a lot of your time let's get straight into it so the first shortcut that i use is the spacebar i use the spacebar to play and pause or play and stop when i'm in the timeline so i figured this will save you a little bit of time instead of using this button here to play and stop you can simply just hit the space bar and you play and stop the next shortcut that i use is Control s or command s if you're on mac so it's Control s if you're on windows and con command s if you are on mac so this function allows you to save your project all the time and let me emphasize this it's very important to save your projects all the time and consistently just in case anything happens your computer might freeze premiere pro might crash or if you're in africa you know that electricity may just be cut off or yeah anything can happen so instead of coming all the way here to click file and save you can simply just hit Control s or command s and your project is saved so the next two and shortcut that i use is the letter v and the letter V is used to bring the selection to here and you can see it's already on and this selection tool is one of the most used tools when editing and I'm sure if you are an, a Premiere Pro editor or any editor you use this a lot to select and move your clips here in the timeline so for you to toggle that, you simply press V. Let's say I'm on the pen tool here. To go back to the selection tool, I simply press V and it's on. Another shortcut that I use is the letter C. And the letter C, I use it to bring the razor tool. So this razor tool, I use it almost all the time to cut any of the clips that are in the timeline so instead of me coming all the way here and selecting the razor tool manually i'll just hit the letter c and the razor tool is on cut 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 moving on the next shortcuts that I use are the plus and minus keys and I use this to zoom in and out when I'm in my timeline so plus is zooming in and minus is zooming out so instead of coming to the scroll bar here I simply just hit the minus key and I'm zooming out and the plus key when I'm zooming in this just makes the editing process easier I figured and way more faster Another shortcut that I use the most is Control A if you're on Windows and Command A if you're on Mac. And this I use to select everything in the timeline. So it's either Control A to select everything or Command A if you're on Mac to select everything. And this just makes it faster than dragging all the way here. Maybe your timeline is like this and you want to select everything to move. Maybe just. A second further or a second I don't know what you want to do but I figured it's way easier and saves time you, you don't need to zoom out to then select you just simply hit control a and you have everything selected next up is the shift key and the shift key is used to select multiple clips when you are in the timeline so you just hold the shift key and then select multiple clips so you can use it to either select or deselect clips when you have multiple clips that are selected another shortcut and function that I use a lot is the copy and paste function and 
the shortcuts for that is control c and control v so control c is copying and control v is pasting so if you are on mac you know that control is command so command c and command v so let's say i need to drag everything that's in this timeline to another timeline instead of selecting all and dragging all the stuff to this timeline i can just simply hit the control a that we spoke about earlier and i hit control c to copy and head over to the next timeline and hit control v and i have pasted everything in this timeline as well so this will save you a few seconds and it just makes your workflow much more efficient Another function that I like and use usually is the snapping timeline function and the shortcut for that is the letter is the key S so it's S for on and S for off so the snapping timeline tool is this magnet looking icon here and this is used to align when you are aligning clips and tracks together most times i have run into trouble with clients because of black spots in my videos and this may look like just like this just a split second and this may be distracting to the viewer so in order to eliminate those you just need to toggle this magnet looking icon here for the snapping timeline and then when you drag your clip you see this black line that or black guide rather that shows you that you are at the right spot the next tool that we're going to talk about is the pen tool and i think this is one of my favorite tools in adobe premiere pro and i am not lying this is one of my favorite tools i think it allows me to play around with the audio volumes especially when i'm doing my sound editing or my sound effects my sound process I love this tool a lot and the pen tool is this pen looking icon here and the shortcut for the pen tool is the letter P and let's say we are here and we want to lower the volume of the background track so that we can hear what he's saying so what you can simply do Sorry, what you can simply do is select an in point and out point so that you can lower this part here. But watch what happens here. If you hit this selection tool and lower down, you find that everything goes down. So you need to select another in point so that you can keep these as tangents that will hold that those keyframes that you're going to put in between here so you simply need to select another clip another timeline and sorry another keyframe rather and another keyframe here so that this is the part this guy speaks and we need to hear that so watch what happens here so before it's going like this and if we then lower the volume here let's say to minus 18 watch what happens so it automates your volume instead of you cutting clips you it just automates so it simply goes down you can see the you can see the what do you call this the fade here or is it velocity maybe yeah so it goes down here hey man, I'm dying. Down, and it comes back up so i use i use this to make keyframes especially when i'm doing my audio and there's a lot that you can do you can with this pen tool i think i'll do another tutorial of my sound editing workflow so that you see how this pen tool is so powerful in when you are editing your audio it's yeah one of the like i said it's one of my favorite tools 
moving on is the undo function and i think undoing is one of the most used functions out there and i i use it a lot i use it all the time and the shortcut for undo is Control z and command z if you're on mac so let's say we just deleted this clip here by mistake and you need it back instead of coming all the way to edit and clicking undo what you need to simply do is hit command or control z and it's back so yeah so it's way easier to just hit command or control z to undo because a lot of times i make a lot of mistakes in when i am editing some intended some unintended or i'm trying to experiment with edits and then i see that this is not working or this is working so i need to undo constantly so hitting control z or command z is yeah just i think uh, when you edit a lot it becomes just automatic your fingers are already on the keyboard and you're hitting command z control z just making your editing workflow faster and much more fun the last shortcut and function that we're going to talk about is the when you want to export i think exporting is the last thing that you do or rendering rather is the last thing that you do after finishing your edit so let's say i have compiled my edit here and instead of coming all the way here and selecting file export export media i'll just hit the shortcut for that is control m so i'll just hit control m and it's asking me asking me offline materials present yeah i know i think i know what this is and it's okay so i'll simply just hit command m or control m and i have everything here so this is one of i think this is one of the coolest shortcuts that that's out there and but i use it the most i i i barely go to file and then select export and media i simply hit control m and i'm exporting okay so that's it guys in terms of the shortcuts tools and functions that i use on a day-to-day -day basis when i'm editing i hope this is somehow useful to you and if you have more shortcuts and easier workarounds that you have come across in your workflow please share with me so that i can also learn if you're new on this channel and you'd like to see more content like this just hit the subscribe button and turn on the notifications and you'll see videos whenever they come out